Today I'm going to show you how you can draw in your videos like what's happening on screen right now. And it is way easier than you think it is. You can do this on any device. You don't need the newest Apple Pencil. You don't need to subscribe to Final Cut Pro on the iPad. You can do this with any device. You can do this on the device you're watching me on right now unless it's a TV, but otherwise you can do this on a phone, Android or iPhone, tablet, laptop, desktop. All you need is a black background. Let me show you. So here we are on the iPad and I do have an Apple Pencil here, but you do not need any of this. And just to prove that later on in the video, I'm going to do this all on an iPhone with no Apple Pencil and just my finger to show that this is possible with zero equipment. So what we're going to do is go into the Notes app. We're going to make sure that our Notes app is in dark mode. What you need, what the most important thing about this entire tutorial is that you're writing on a black screen. So we're going to make sure we're in dark mode or that your Notes app or whatever you're using is a black background, solid black. It needs to be solid black. Once you have that, we're going to make sure that markup is in fact selected so you can draw. And then we're going to do screen recording. So we're going to make sure that we're recording our screen. And now that we are recording our screen, we can start drawing. Hello. Now that we've drawn something and we're happy with how that looks, we're gonna hit stop screen recording. And now that is saved to our photos. Additionally, if you do not want this to be animated and you just want this as a final drawing, what you can do is take a screenshot and I'll show you how to have just this overlaid on your video instead of having the action of drawing it. So now we're on an iPhone and I'm gonna show you that you don't need an Apple Pencil or an iPad or any fancy equipment. You just need a phone or a device with a black background. So I'm in the Notes app with a black background. I'm gonna hit screen recording once again, gonna let that count down real quick. And now that we're screen recording, I'm going to select the brush that I want to use and I'm just going to draw my name. And I think now that I'm happy with that, we can just hit boop, done screen recording. That's now been saved and I now have this file to overlay on my MacBook. So now we're on the laptop and this is where the magic happens. I've imported my screenshots and screen recordings into my video editor. I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but it literally works in any video editor basically ever because this is a really simple function. So you don't need to worry about what software I'm using. Your video editor, whether it's Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci, even some of the mobile apps should have the ability to do this. So it's not a huge deal. They might be called something slightly different, but you should have the ability to do this. So let's go on to our screen recording right here. I'm going to take our iPhone one first just to show you what that is capable of. And as you can see, we have the screen recording. We have the top and bottom that are not completely black. So what I'm going to do is going to come over to my crop and I'm just going to hit crop top and crop bottom and boom. Now we are just left with the black bar and the name. And as you can see here, if we just kind of fast forward, there's still black here. This is the main part. So if you're going to take anything away from this video, it's this. Since we have this black part, we're going to go to composite mode and we're going to go to screen. And that is going to get rid of the black in basically any video footage. Now, as you can see, our background on the iPhone, surprisingly, is not completely black. So there is a bit of leftover black there. So what you wanna do is make sure that is completely black. So I'm just gonna do some quick color grading. I'm just gonna kind of drag my tone curve around until it disappears. So I'm gonna zoom in a lot. And what I'm seeing is that it kind of disappears when the tone curve is like right there. So we're defining black, and now it is pretty much gone. So as you can see, boom, we have our writing there, black is gone. So that is what you're gonna have to do if you are having a not completely black background. You're just gonna want to make sure that you can eliminate the not black portions of the video. As you can see here, we just need to dial it in correctly so it completely disappears. And now we have a perfect handwriting of everything. So I'm just going to now cut this to where I begin writing and now, as we hit play, you can see the writing show up on screen. And I think that is so cool. Now, if you wanna make it bigger, you can obviously zoom in, you can move this around. I think that's really cool. So let's take this as a different example, right? Let's go with the one from the iPad. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to drag the one from the iPad down here. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. So obviously, again, we're gonna have to crop this so we can get rid of the top and bottom parts. And I'm just going to do crop top and crop bottom. And now we're left with black once again. And I want to make this one a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna come down to composite mode, and we're gonna come down to screen once again. And again, this isn't doing as expected. So I'm gonna come down here, 
and I'm just going to play with my tone curve once again until it completely disappears and there's no overlay and we're good to go. So now what we're left with is the text. Here we go. You have hello showing up as I'm writing it and the little smiley face and I think that looks pretty freaking good. Now I think the reason why the blacks aren't completely black is because it's a video recording. So if we take this screenshot, for example, which should be pure, complete black, I'm going to do the exact same thing once again, crop the top, crop the bottom, and then I'm going to increase the size on this, and I'm just going to hit screen. And this one completely disappears. So I think it's less about the black background and more about the screen recording quality that is not completely black when you're screen recording on the iPad and the iPhone. This PNG file, which is a screenshot file, is completely black. And I think that's because this, the screenshots are higher quality than the screen recordings. And so that's what screening should do. That's what it should come out to be. But like I said, if you find yourself using the screen recordings, you now have that trick to just kind of define the black with the the tone curve and get rid of the ugly black that you don't want and now you still have your written message out here overlaid on top. The screenshot here is obviously going to be static because it is just a screenshot whereas the videos are the writing process we have going on here. And that is how you can draw on any video with any device. It's a super simple trick. Not only does it up your production quality, but it adds a very unique personal artistic flair because no one else in the world can mimic your artistic vision. And I think that is so cool. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to like and leave a comment for me. I will be responding to as many as possible. And if you made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe. My name is Mark Steiner and I'll see you next time.